Welcome to Forever Home Channel. On this platform, we discuss all things related to Ghana and Africa. Our real estate company, Royal Consulting Solution, is the foremost location for all your land acquisition, building needs, relocation, and starting a successful business in Ghana. We also provide quality information through our consultation and webinar series. We can be reached at royalconsultingsolutions.com. Come join the trusted source for all your reliable information. All right, good. You guys can hear me? Thank you very much. Anyway, thanks for Saturday, another Saturday. Oh man, I hope uh, I hope things are good on your side. Sun check. Thank you. I always like the feedback because uh, I go through great length to get everything set up. But you know how it is sometimes. Mr. Lamte, thank you to have you. Have you guys here? Um, let's see, Stella Poku. Thank you, thank you for joining on Saturday. There's like 40 nights over there, so keep coming in so I know where you guys are. Um, so today is going to be uh, just a few discussions and then, uh, then we're gonna take some questions and then we're gonna, we're gonna keep it moving. I hope you guys have uh, subscribed to our other channel, our Bravo podcast. Uh, um, according to some of you, uh, we are putting some great content and. Uh, so check it out. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a good team. Now we are looking for uh, an intelligent uh, woman who can, who has the right temperament, uh, but also strong in their views and uh, to to join the platform. So if if you are interested uh, to do that, uh, to join us and share your your views, that would be incredibly uh, helpful. And you can send me an email or contact me and uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot to see if it's going to fit right well. Anyway, um, thanks everyone, uh, like I said earlier. Um, so today's topic is uh, is just basically, uh, you know, the building series being a metaphor for life of, of just planning when you plan and you accept uh, greater responsibilities and accountability for yourself. Uh, there's a high degree of success. And there's also a high degree of happiness because you get to control some outcome, right? And so one example would be, you know, this is just for you guys, those who are thinking about doing projects, you know, you know, prices are creeping up. You know, cement is, you know, some places, uh, we, we're talking about a few weeks, it was 42 CDs. Now it's like 45 CDs, right? Uh, iron rods is going up 30, 40%. Um, and so to the extent that I myself has, um, was a project that I was going to do, uh, three, four months from now, I've, I have moved them for next week because the price, right? The price, the price are creeping up. So like I said earlier, I want your money to, to go further, um, um, uh, on your project. So you got to pay attention to that. Um, so don't, the more you wait in. Um, the more things are going to cost a little bit more. And so put that in. And in Ghana, usually too, if it goes up, it might it might drop a little bit, but it's still going to be at a higher rate than you would have paid, you know, several months. So factor that in um, and then do it. So as, and, and one of the reasons being, uh, you know, is the loans that Ghana, you know, the country owns to this, there's investors, um, you know, it's like when COVID came, those interest rates were suspended. So now that, you know, economies are picking up because of the vaccines effectiveness, eventually those interest rates uh, will have to be paid on these loans and, and that is going to affect the currency as well. So if you guys can see the last month, you know, the city has been weakened uh, to some extent. All right, so factor factor that information um, out there for yourself, and so you can you can you can start you know planning well and executing you know the goals that you have uh, for yourself. Just like anything, um, 
you know, that you're gonna you're gonna meet some challenges and everything. But uh, but I think uh, once you accept full responsibility for the outcome of your life, I mean, life becomes way much easier, way much easier. I, I think it becomes about eighty percent easier once you say, "Listen, um, you have to." Uh, you are, you know, one of my mentors told me this thing many years ago, and I didn't want to hear it. Um, and he told me this. He said, you are in life due to the series of decisions that you have made um, to get you to the point that you are. And and so, and I didn't want to accept that because, you know, you always want to feel like somebody else at least contributed to your state of condition. But once I under understood what he was saying, that you know what you get to determine the outcome of how everything's end up for you. It's nobody's fault. If you can't pay your bills, it's nobody's fault. If you can, um, if you are financially struggling, it's, it's, it's not necessarily anybody's fault. If things are not going well, it's, it's not necessarily anybody's fault. Um, and and so once you accept the responsibility, you can do great things, right? And so take your challenge, you can do it, build that dream home, start our business. And believe in yourself, find a good team around you. And then, uh, because I feel like the year goes by. It's just me, like, it's like Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday. Um, and so every year we get we get a little bit older, hopefully a little bit wiser. But um, time waits for no man or woman. Just just because you have a situation in your life, time is not going to wait, right? Um, nobody has time for pity parties. Just get, get yourself up and and believe in yourself and, and just go win. Okay? And so that's the metaphor of building, right? Series of just, you know, planning well and, and executing, right? Executing. Um, and once you can do that, I don't care what a dream is. You, you can easily be overcome, right? And so, Lady Saul, you came in early this time. Okay, you got a question here? Let me take that. Let's see. So adhesive in terms of when you do the block work, just uh, like you know normal block work, yeah. So that's not going to change. Um, uh, the foundation is not really going to change in terms of how I'm going to um, build um, the subsequent block work as the next video will come up on the next week Thursday, and so that is not going to change anything. Um, sometimes people wait before they do casting. But I decided I wanted to do something different. For me, the, the challenge is always improving, maximizing, you know, being creative and doing things that make sense. You're always learning. Um, and so and so it's just try to be efficient because, like I said, I want this place to be a masterpiece, you know, crafty, you know, someplace that, um, you know, only a tight-knit people get to come and we can have a great time all the time. I want to make the place that people come, they don't need anything, everything is just, everything you can think about is, is already in the house. So, so I'm paying attention to detail. So unless if there's a different adhesive that you're talking about, uh, you can you can let me know. Well, I don't know. I mean, are they talking about block work? um and stuff like that i mean i mean i don't know it's assuming the ratio to cement to sand is good um it's just i mean it's going to, it's going to be fine um so so i don't know i don't know exactly i did you know um i mean sometimes people add a sieve to concrete mixture to to contain the rigidity and stuff like that but um you know i'm trying to figure out what it is that they, they are actually telling you um, and most of the concrete, uh, concrete uh, adhesive, um, uh, the ones that I've seen mostly is for just to, to contain some kind of, like, um, you know, water issue, um, especially like when you're doing something like um, mm, rooftop decking and stuff like that. There's, there's concrete mixtures that you can put in there. It's more like a waterproof mixture that you add in there to, to actually is, is, is mix in the mixture. So as you pour the concrete uh, on the rooftop, uh, it's gonna prevent water from sitting over there and eventually penetrating. So, so on the normal block work, you know, it should be fine. You can continue anytime. Okay.
Fisha, that's here. Kafui, thank you for coming. Adrena, thanks for joining us. I mean, uh, you have not been here for a while. Um, you know, stuff like that. So hopefully everybody's good. So, you know, prices are creeping up, like I said. Um, so you want to you want to keep an eye on those things. Um, and then and then plan well, you know, you know, plan very well. Uh, because it's you know, Ghana is just basically is you know, it's only a heaven like if if you have super planned well. And I'm all about um, you know, having the backup for the backup. So um you have to plan that make sure you're always gonna need more money. Um, not just for yourself, but also to be in position to help people as well. And so uh, please don't get caught up in somebody's YouTube about how much they really need um they are using to Ghana because <laughs> it is gonna cost something's gonna happen to you. Um and and then uh, you're gonna need that money and hopefully you have that emergency. And and some people also have um or the, you know, or the, or the resources in terms of family members to help them. Like, I mean, if I go to Ghana, something I need money is all on me. Um, so, so it's a different way to to plan it um, and stuff like that. So, but yes, you know, live the dream, continue that. Um, my goal is to is to be just one of those options for you. But you know, building a society, and, yes, it's expensive. But you know, you get to you get to you know work with people. You get to find your creativity. You got to challenge yourself. Uh, you get to be the best of to create something that you love and enjoy um, for many, many years, many, many years to come. Um, and, and so, all of you, all of you can do it. You know, I'm ro I'm rooting for you guys. Um, but but you know, there's a there's a there's a way of we get too comfortable in the West, right? And and I live in the cold for a reason. I, I spent many years in New York. I was, you know, live in Ohio, North Carolina, a few places. But I came in the cold because the cold was a way I can use as a motivating factor to do something in Ghana. And so I never want to move somewhere that's sunny here because I want Ghana to be the place that, uh, I, you know, it's just a motivating fa factor. Um, so I didn't want to move to, you know, the sunny spots um in a in a country so i can't be too comfortable so find your motivation um so that allows me to to want to go to ghana multiple times in a year and then think of, and take of my business so um use use the motivation as you can and, and create something uh spectacular and magical for your for yourself it's all about legacy um what our parents didn't do for us we want to fix that asap um and so leave leave the next generation with something uh so then they can they can build upon that um yes yes um okay well thank you for joining let's see you see here Akusia, Asafu, yeah no problem you know uh late coming what is it 30 minutes right time time flies so uh so it's just more more today is more for you guys you know putting some questions if it's consultation out uh, I would say you have to come that route, but it's just um, it's just like um, just questions that you can put out there. Whether you know how to keep an eye on projects when you're not down there, or how to make sure the money is being used, and um, how to just uh, you know make sure things things are going well. You know, so how to how to stay hungry, right? You know, how to how to stay hungry, uh, stuff like that. So um, you know, so pretty much it's it's you guys. And so, what, you know, one of the things, too, is um, you know, just, just develop discipline. Um, you know, I think sometimes discipline means, like, you know, you are not uh, maybe denying yourself. Listen, um, you know, it's just postponing. And, and, and you, do it, you do it later in styles, right? You do it later in styles. And so, yes, when I see those Rolls Royce and the Bentleys and stuff like that, it's a nice car. But but you know there's no justification uh, uh, to do that, um, and uh, right now there's no justification to do that, because sometimes when I look at my house, I say, listen, you know I could have built a three four bedrooms and I could I could get the price of a brand new Bentley, right? So that tells you how much money I actually went to that project. But but it's just a car, you know. I like I like the the more of the properties uh, and stuff like that, and then when it, 
when the right time comes and it makes sense, you know, you get you get those cards too. Okay. Um let's see what's question here. Yeah, so we so so here's the thing you have to factor in too, right? Um that is why you know you don't so be price conscious to a point, but um sometimes you know the, the certain things that will cost will redirect uh your whole um you know thought process of what you need to different things. But sometimes I feel like even if the prices increase, you don't want to stray away. Uh, from you know from from your first option um if you have if you want to change that it's i hope it's not just about price it's about other things so yeah so we are looking at other alternatives uh you know as well you know what is out there um even lights you know stuff that we but but you have to be careful because sometimes uh the challenge with ghana sometimes is that um you you, it's difficult to really know the quality of things because the importations. People can sneak all kinds of stuff in there, um, and and they get them close to us quality. So we have to be careful. We are very diligent, but we also entertaining other things. And the second build, I'm also using that as as um as some like kind of like a guinea pig of trying some things because it's you know it's my house. Something goes wrong, you know we we can figure a way around it. So so I'm trying a few things, even like. You know, window frames. So I'm playing with some things to see the pros and cons. So, so we're always looking at um, other alternatives, you know, as well. And when something changes, we will we will let you know. So water. So uh, you know, if if it's building, just get, get it like a temporary water tank build of you know cement and uh, you know that kind of stuff. For now, make sure it's, it will not interfere with where your fence wall is going to be, or building is going to be, and that kind of stuff. Um, so just do that for now. Then eventually, so so here's a tip for you guys: when you have one plot and you already started building your house. I suggest don't do a fence wall right away because sometimes if you want to do a borehole, you know, the vehicle, you know, the, the borehole of vehicles are really, really they're very, very big and you may not have room, especially if you want your, your borehole at the back of the house. So it's a, little, it's a little bit, you know, tip for you. So just build a small tank, uh, you know, for now. Now, if you want to use, if you think about using something like a septic tank or a manhole for that, then maybe you can, you can invest um, that, uh, you know, immediate, uh, initially, and then use, and then later after that, use it as a septic tank or that, and that kind of stuff. Delayed gratification is always the key because, you, because, you know, the beauty of life is there's always going to be something better, right? So the Louis Vuitton bag next year is going to be better. Um, but, you know, the Rolex watch is going to be better. You know, the cars are, they're always getting better. So, um, so just take your time and, and, and just, Take care of the things that are important. Um, is is in in that kind of stuff because this is what you're trying to accomplish. Money can buy you some degree of happiness, but money can never give you a peace of mind. You you can't do it, money. You know, uh, peace of mind is really really gonna be a different avenue of pursuit. Um, so you can you can money will give you some comfort and and options but it's not totally going to, it's not going to give you a peace of mind. Um, and so you have to figure about that. So, because at a certain point, the 10,000 back wears off. The 20,000, there's way off. They're way off. Um, and so, and that's one of, on our podcast, that Bravo podcast, we talk about these things because, you know, people people are surprised. It's like, uh, the lifestyle is good, but peace is a whole different thing. And I always say this, if I can't get peace, I don't want anything else, right? Um, and so in the end, you want, you want, you want to delay that and, and take care of things. Know that you are, because the goal is to be financial free. When you're financial free, you can live well. You can be comfortable. You'll be in a position to help people um, and, and, and set a legacy and that kind of stuff. So that is the goal. 
it's going to be difficult if you are buying everything to fulfill some kind of like, uh, you know, issues that you have. Maybe you know, go to therapy, uh, you know, you know, you know, to do that. Um, so you you want to get it. I always, whatever they have earned, to me, I see the value because it's, it's true hard work, and I appreciate it more. And you tend to take care of things that you really work hard for. And so delayed gratification is a key. Okay, so get it, get it. I'm, I'm never saying I'm not saying deprive yourself, and I'm saying delay them, right? Yes, you know, uh, price is going up. Do you, do you think prices are going to come down or just no? I don't. So I now I'll be honest with you, and don't make this political. I want you to understand what I'm trying to say is the next the next three years at least is going to be really, really tough in Ghana. The inflation is going to be high um, because in general, you know, the second year is, is difficult. And also the borrowing, you know, we need to start paying, paying them back as a country. And so um, and that means the city is going to be with inflation is going to go up. They're going to need more money. To convert to dollars to to pay this the, these loans and interest, and so I'm saying you got to be usually I don't even talk about this kind of stuff than in consultation. So I was so concerned that I moved project that I was going to do in the summer to next week. Um, and so for me, even if it drops, it's not going to go cheaper than before. It's not going to be cheaper than last year. I can guarantee you that. Uh, even when it drops you're still going to be paying high because it has gone up. So factor all that in um, and, 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 you know, and plan accordingly. No problem. Thanks for coming in. Julian, hope God is treating you well. Um, dreams, yeah, I'm spoiled, yep. Always, always, it's a must. Yes, click the likes button. You know, it's like, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, comment, comment. So the thing is that I have a lot of people that watch the channel. And so can you believe this? About 70% of my viewers have not subscribed. So could you imagine if you guys subscribe, the channel is going to be, you know, even bigger. Uh, we can reach more people. So subscribe, um, you know, just subscribe and also click on the um on the notification button. That's peace of mind. Peace of mind is everything. I crave peace of mind. I say, listen, I don't do anything. I don't get my phone in a situation that I cannot get my peace of mind because, listen, uh, because without peace of mind, I mean, it's like, what is the meaning of life anyway? Um, and so, and so it's very important. And all these things we are doing, when you have the comfort, um, you know, it, it's funny because you know, every year the goal is to, to increase your asset, right? To make more money than before, to save more. And and, 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 and you'll be surprised. you will be surprised when you get disciplined. Man, it's like every year I've made more money for, except one year, the last 12 years. So one year. And it's all because of planning and discipline and, and, and staying focused because whatever that people consider as a lifestyle, I can have. But I want that uh, to be had at a proper time. And also, one of the things I want to tell you guys is um, the rule. One of the rules I go by is this. Um, and and maybe if you're a couple, you can share this. You know, with your significant other is is um, like if if you if you men men try to do this, and I'll use them as an example, right? Like a guy go buys hundred thousand dollar car, right? Nice car. Uh, for that price around that range, and and you have children, and and none of your kids have hundred k in their college fund, is very irresponsible. So the rule is you don't spend any money on material things that you have not invested that into your children's life. Um, because I feel like it's uh, those kids, man, they are blessing, and loving them alone. Is not enough in the sense of emotions. Loving them, to me, the real love for children, for your child, is the financial investment that you are planning for them. And also why you take care of their basic needs, their emotional, mental, physical needs. 
but they cannot be real love when financially the parent or the parents are irresponsible in the way they handle money um, because that put the kid in a, in a lot of predicament down the road to be making some bad choices because they need money. And so that is a rule I go by. So if I want to go buy 20K something, then the kids must have 20K in the account. Other than that, I got to get the kids first, right? So that's the rule. So that's something you can you can implement. And when you take care of the kids, um, everything's, everything's fall in place. That is what I realized uh, prior, in prior times. Very, very important, okay? Yep. Yep. So you can find ways to reserve. Yep. So you have to. You have to. It's about <laughs> it adds up. It, uh, it adds up, man. It, it adds up. And 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 someday, someday maybe we, we we might do a closed door. Then I can show you. Listen, uh, it is very reasonable for a couple of two to make a million dollars in asset in about 15 years. It is very, very reasonable. It is very, very reasonable, okay? So um, it can be done. It can, it, it, it can be done. Uh, listen, it can be done. Okay. Okay, so now, so you can do, you can do hollow blocks for main level, not for story building though, okay? Um, for the first floor, or depending on what country you are, first floor is the second floor. So I use the main floor. The main floor is about ground level. Um, so if it's one story, yeah, you can do that. Um, if it's if it's a two story, meaning first floor and another second floor, um, you want to use the solid blocks and then use the hollow blocks, which are lighter on the second floor, to reduce the weight, right? Uh, but in, the most important thing is make sure like whatever block you're using is just quality, right? Quality to 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 begin with. Okay. Um, Yvive, thank you for coming. Kwame, I hope all is good. Let me see. Give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, you know, um, and, and that is you see, eighty percent of all millionaires <laughs> were not hand downs. They didn't inherit the money, right? Eighty percent of them are our first generations, right? Like some of us. So we come here, we see the opportunity. You are not getting younger, uh, as as you know. And please, forty is not a new thirty. Forty is forty. Okay. And so you have a certain amount of your, your time to maximize your, your income potential. So I would rather postpone blowing all my money in my 20s and 30s and start living comfortably from 40 to the rest of my life. Um, and, and so that is what you want to look at it because I can tell you this, um, I've seen, I went to somebody's house, friend's house, uh, many years in Ghana, and, and the security guard was an older gentleman. I mean, th th this guy was like in the mid fifties, and and for me, it was kind of like I feel a little weird way because I knew that that was not what he has envisioned for his life. And I was like, this this old guy could be home with his wife, laying down uh, in his house, sleeping, but you know he has to do this job. And so for me, you know, life is a little bit tricky because um, there's certain things I would do now. I don't want to do it in my 50s or 60s. When I get to those age, I want to be making decisions not because of the money I don't have, right? Um, because people do get disrespected because they get to that position and, and they're not able to financially support, support themselves. So it's, for me, it's a little bit of also pride and 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 dignity in taking care of things, um, taking care of things that. Um, so when you look at it from that aspect, 
uh, you have to really be disciplined. There's nothing like, I mean, uh, listen, I was a high school star, college, you know, you know, athlete, you know, star of the soccer team, the program and all that stuff. So, you know, I understand fame uh, and all that stuff. I had my moment, but I always wanted to, to have a lifestyle as you get older, right? So build it right. And then, and then, and then, and then become comfortable, right? Uh, so it depends. It depends. It is like flaws. It depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. So one thing is you have to factor into also like you know quantity, right? Quantity, right? Um, and uh, you know, so you have to get a quantity, right? Twenty percent. Uh, factor in about twenty percent. Uh, uh, breakage and also, you know, breakage during shipping or from the harbor to your house, things going to happen and also have some in storage. So, you know, that's all. I know for the next house, I'm not shipping tiles. I'm doing something different and stuff. I've, I would do one container, but just going to be uh, most of the appliance will be done, you know, getting down there. I'm going to ship a transformer and then just uh, patio stuff that I know I can't get in Ghana. The patio furnitures are very, very limited and also in quality. So here you get a variety. So because I want a lot of outdoor space on the rooftop and, then, you know, the back, the balcony and then the patio, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, you got to you got to pick and choose you know, what you want to send. You know, so so this is what is going to happen when you start designing a home, and, and this is why I always tell people is it's very very difficult to design a home and come up with ideas in one month, because uh, Joe, you know what you know what this is because after some time when you look at a plan, there's always tweak you know here and there and stuff. Like that. So I say I say it's going to be give yourself a six month, give yourself a six month from the time you are designing, you're looking at things out there, but also too is. Is just do some research too. Um, you know, is is you know make sure it's gonna lay out. I'm I'm all about layout because uh, layout you know is going to bring that feel of a home, not necessary size. You know, is the feel of a home when everything is positioned right. So imagination is gonna run. Is is gonna run by a certain point. Uh, don't become like uh, nitpicky because then you never get a blueprint down. You're always looking for. Um, but if you get about ninety five percent, it's gonna it's gonna be excellent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, things things just things, things are going up. Yeah. So and another tip. Thanks for thanks for this. Uh, yeah, because I've heard something they're trying to reduce the plot sizes. <laughs> Get your 10, 70, 10 by 70 as you can, right? Um, and so it's just, for me, I'm all about overcoming, right? Whatever it is, just just overcome and don't make excuses and and just, you know, take care of things and stuff like that. So um, just, it sucks. I understand, but just. Um, money can actually take away your peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You see, is um i have been very very fortunate to to when i grew up even in ghana to be around people that had serious money and the mismanagement of it to see the money became a negative force um devastating force and so when i came to the u.s and i moved here i started hanging out with people to actually uh show me how to do the right way is to have the lifestyle, but also have the peace. And 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 they will teach us uh, what money can do, what money is not. Uh, and and money is a powerful force. Uh, it, it can it can bring the worst out of a human being. Uh, it doesn't change you; it just exposes who you are. Um, and so they were teaching us what how we need to use money uh, effectively in in the areas that money is absolutely not going to make any difference no matter how much you have. So now the studies a few years ago came up that said um, if a person makes about 
this is an individual app. You make about $75,000, right? Anything beyond, because they were thinking I'd run $75,000 for one person, if you are responsible, you should be able to have your own place, save some money, be able to go out, get a few things here and there, have a car. And so they were saying anything beyond that does not increase um, the value of, or increase, quote unquote, your happiness. And and, and 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 for us, we understand what they're trying to say. Some people say, well, because the, there's a point that the money, it doesn't matter whether it's 10 billion or 200,000 in terms of your happiness and peace of mind. There's a level you get that because what is it? You, you buy the $5 million home, then what? You know, after a while, that also is going to not do what it's supposed to do. Why are you building a second home? Why are you going to sell, rent the old house? So, so here's my rule. Here's my rule. Um, I have two kids. They have to, you know, they get two homes. Now, uh, the first one, the first home, if the price is right. Uh, you know, it's, it's um, I'll sell it. Um, using as rental, uh, it's, a, it's a possibility, but... Um, I want the two kids to 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 have both homes. Um, when it all said and done, uh, do I probably build another one? Uh, yes, because um, I know me. Um, but but it's gonna be not in Accra. It's gonna be some region um, outside Accra, and for a different purpose. And so um, so that is the logic between that. Yeah, so you know, working tired and all oh, it's not feasible. You want to get away of that. That's why on the channel, on the Bravo channel, you guys need to subscribe. We are building a series. Eventually, we're also going to talk about investing, right? How are you going to maximize that money? You know, nine to five is is not um it's gonna be hard, right? And so we talk about how you can maximize your money and stuff like that. So then um, so that will be a topic that will be on that platform. Okay. Yeah, let's see what it is. You know, it depends what you want. You see, um, um, I want flexibility. Um, I don't want to be, like I said, I don't want to be in the middle of the city. Like if you, if you give me a house at Airport Hills, Or even even like cantonment, depend where it is. It's like I grew up in those places, and so for me, I'm factoring it right. City, right? Congestion, pollution, over time, it's noisy, noise pollution, and so for me, I I just want to be able to float in and out. But where I stay, I want peace, I want quiet, because that is why I can think. That's why I can process. Um, that is when when you have people visit you, you can you can be out of the madness to to speak, and so it depends. There's, there's there's pros and cons, but also you go further away. You know, hospitals, something happens, right? So you got it's it's a you got to factor in you know a lot of things, right? Um, it, it, so so it's just about that. So I know sometimes people go way out because a crowd line are very, very expensive, but also it's a fine line when you are two hours from a quality hospital. That could be between life and death issue, right? So, so you have to you have to balance all that. Yes. Yeah. So, and and naturally too, think about it this way: when you have resource, um, if you have resource, even when you get older, there's a probability that the people taking care of you. We we'll have to factor that in and, and, and take care of you as well in, in the right way. Um, it's very, very unfortunate that, you know, money has become the central thing in today's generation. And and so um, and 
people, we have situation people will not even visit their parents because the parents don't have any money. Um, so that is why um, you should not plan for your kids to ever support you. It's a bad idea. Uh, it puts a burden on the kids um, and stuff like that. So you should you should just take care of things. Okay. Yes. So so it's just it's just about you know think about it. It's not always right and wrong. It's about you know figuring, uh, figuring figuring what you want. You know is that is why sometimes. I tell you to be careful with, you know, the, the YouTube stuff, what people are doing stuff. You know, you just, they have reasons why they, they choose to leave other place, um, other place um, and, and kind of stuff. So uh, I don't want to fly to a crime and drive four hours away from where I'm going to stay, you know, and stuff like that. So, so it's just, you know, I grew up in a city. There's a part of me that's city bar, so I want to quiet. So I'm trying to get the best of both worlds. With, with distance to, because eventually what I'm going to do eventually is with, you know, eventually I might, I will start going out less because the house has everything that I could ever need. And so, uh, because when I do go out, I, you know, I, I spend a lot of money, um, you know, and stuff like that. So, so it's, it's just about that. Subscribe. Yeah. It's going to happen. 40 is 40. So 43 people, right? Subscribe um, yeah, and stuff like that. So I'm a listen. I believe in all of you guys. Listen, man, it's like you can do this. You know, I really believe you can. You can. You can really, really do. It, it doesn't matter what it is, what is keeping you back. It doesn't matter what the obstacle is. You can. You can make this thing happen. Um, and if if the day you decide, say, you know what? And sometimes you just gotta be pissed off, right? You know, pissed off and said, "Listen, man, I'm tired of living this way. Uh, I'm tired of the disrespect. I'm gonna go do this something. I'm gonna go then win. And 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 take the energy you need. And then you know, in the process, you'll find people. You know, you you shady people will come. You know, that's life. People that don't care about you will come. But eventually, you're gonna find people that's like you're gonna be really tight, close together. And those people sometimes be more, um, more to you." Uh, than than your bloodline, right? Um, yeah. I'm just putting my other channel, a Bravo podcast. So 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 check that. Okay, check that, and then when 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 we can help you, you know you know we have a business, obviously, you know with line acquisition building. And stuff like that. We'll figure this thing out to the T. Um, let us help you because um, this is going to listen. Um, you see, we, the thing that, the thing, so the difference, so the difference about us, you know, some people see 200,000 and they lose their, maybe if you bring a billion, maybe we might be, but anything, anything under that, we, you know, we, we get, we're gonna get a job done with that, you know, over, over excitement. So, so we don't, we've done big projects, you know, even the money for my own projects and stuff like that. So, so it's like, because some people, they, you know, the money comes and then they become a whole different thing, um, you know, stuff like that. So, so we are used to that, um, you know, we, we are used to working with that. So, we, it's not something that we're gonna. Uh, lose a mind because you know somebody brought half a million dollars down on the table okay but i know that we you know we are we are authentic we are genuine we are responsible the quality is there um and fundamentally it's like i know how hard it is you know to be in, in, in you know in the west trying to make the money i know all that um and so i mean i worked two jobs at a certain point you know is is for many many years like for a decade so i know so i know and 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 sometimes the person you send the money to might not understand these things okay 
Okay, so let's see. Thanks, wisdom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so you can you can go to yeah go to the next channel and then subscribe. You guys should. We had an epic discussion yesterday, uh, and we're building a series. On uh, the series being kind of like how I did with my building project, I have blocked the comment section for now because I know how people are. And so, so at a certain point, we're gonna open it up for for everybody. Uh, but we're blocking up and we're building a series, and it's it's incredible. You have a panel, you know, of people with different backgrounds, skills, you know, experiences, and we care about these issues, and we're telling you how to win, how to win. Um, and so, go there, um, and then. And then just get your popcorn and, and just watch some of the stuff. You may disagree with some of the stuff, but but we are keeping it 100, 100 over there. Okay. Yes, yeah, gonna Yep. So that's so to the other channel, right? Bravo. So yeah, just go there and then and then subscribe and stuff. So give five more minutes and I'm gonna write up. You know, it's it's very difficult. Uh, so it, I think it's also hmm. <laughs> so it dep- ideally. Now, if you do a boy scout test, you can get away with it. But you, when you start doing like story buildings and stuff like that, and also you see, an architect is is not an engineer, right? And so, and not all architects have the same qualifications. And so for us, we use quality architects, but also we have the engineers to make sure that we are making the provisions because you may have to change some things. So um, on a big project, you know, don't, you know, you got to obviously get architect engineer involved. If you're doing a boy scout test, you know, maybe, maybe you can get away with that kind of stuff, but make sure, you know, make sure you know what you're doing and you know what, you know you guys are doing right because it's, it's very, very important okay so our website services that is available go there check it out we put in things we have a 3d now uh landscape option so look look at it um then something that's gonna work for you uh so you can start planting your trees a house without a tree uh you know we are under under utilizing um under utilizing um, uh, the adult space, right? We've been a very, hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but um, it's going to be on a mountain. It's going to be some mountain. <laughs> but that's, that, that, that project is, uh, it's going to be, it's a whole different thing. Um, Yeah, so if you can buy them now, buy them. But the the most important thing to buy a quality one and then store them well. Um, so you can't just put them some abandoned place. It has to be stored because you know it's difficult to steal them, but it can be done when people know nobody's around, right? So store them well. And so as I told you, book a consultation with us. We can talk about what you want. You can look at the plans to see. We have 30,000 plans. One of them will, will, will work for you. We still like, sometimes what we do, we buy, if you buy plans from the website and then we, you know, we do some modification as we do. Okay. I think I've answered this question, I believe so, right? Well, is I think, I, I mean, I got bored after the first one, except the money part, and also I want I want the, the two kids to to have you know to each have their own thing, um and and so, but each house is you know is built with different mindset, different purpose, um you know and and, and stuff like that. So, um, it's about for me challenging myself is, that is the way I am. I have to be always be doing stuff. Because at a certain point, 
I have to redirect all my um, resources to go do the charity work that I want to do um, for the rest of my life. Um, so I'm trying to just take care of a bunch of things now. And then at a certain point, that's what I want to do. That's my give back to to my people, my community. You see, a Brie used to be a Brie used to be on my tab tab list. Um I reconsidered it again. Um I reconsidered I mean, but the the you know the the project that I want to do uh is 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 it's not gonna be it's gonna be a whole different thing. Maybe in the next couple of years I'll start putting things together to to see how I'm gonna but it, it is gonna be a it's gonna be a big project like and I probably need like ten acres for that, you know. Um and the breed prices are high too, so but um uh we'll see. We'll see. Um it's not it's not bad, but I feel like I want to want to I want to go away a little bit, uh, but we'll see. All right, okay. Other than that, if there's no more questions, uh, I will say thank you, everyone, uh, for joining, for coming in today. Uh, hopefully, it was helpful. Take what you need, go in. Um, you don't have to really like me. Uh, sometimes you don't even like somebody, but you know, my what I care about is your life moves forward. Because, you know, when yours is better, everybody's life is better, the world become a better place and stuff. So win, go win, win big, go big. Um, and and you, you will, you see, you will get lucky in life, which is uh, the right people will come at the right time and they're going to help you, believe in you, encourage you, be around you. And, and that is what is happening for me. Um, and, and you're gonna do great things. Uh, you're gonna do great things like you can you could ever imagine. And, and you pass that. Listen, like you get humbled, you know, when you know people people send you your project or because you know you said something. You know, you, you get humbled by that. And so you never know. You know, your story needs to be told. It doesn't matter what people think of you. You get to write a book. You got to write a conclusion, right? And so visit um, our website. We have consultation. I think you got to do them. I think you have to do consultation if you're first time builder because it's going to save you a lot of money. And, and, and so you got to do them. Don't cheapo. Um, you got to do them. Uh, it's very, very important. Um, and so, and so that's what it's about. Okay. Other than that, Saturday, have a great time wherever you are. We Thursday, there's another video coming up. Uh, this time we build to uh, seven block uh, level, and then uh, and then in about two weeks they're gonna start continuing. I don't know when another video will be updated in terms of the house itself. Um, and stuff like that, uh, and then we, we just keep it going. You know, we just we just keep it going. Okay, listen, there's no option but to win, right? That's all you got, right? So let's win, let's win together. Someday we can meet in Ghana. We can do something, something, something super big, um, a legacy, something that's very important. It's very important to me. Yes, we're gonna have we're gonna have the mansion. We're gonna have the money. We're gonna have the the Rolls Royce and the Bentleys, the Bugattis. We're gonna have all that. We also gonna be impactful. We're gonna have our charity work. We're gonna actually create jobs, opportunities for 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 young girls, for young boys to actually control their destiny. And and we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna make sure we actually change lives and make a difference. Right? We can do that. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. I wish you the best of everything. And uh, remember. You know, there's only one you, and you have a destiny. If you don't fulfill them, nobody will ever fill that space. All right, thank you.